To simplify our work, we can find linear relationships to describe the diode process. One way to do this is to approximate the exponential curve by two straight lines as follows. Line A is a straight line with zero slope and line B has slope of 1 over RD. RD is the inverse of the slope of line B. VD0 is the intercept of line B on voltage axis. We can have a better approximation by restricting the current range over which the approximation is required, but we are more concerned right now with how this model works. The straight lines can be described mathematically as ID equals to 0 for VD is less than or equal to VD0 and ID equals to VD minus VD0 over RD for VD greater than VD0. Now, the second equation is derived by a simple modification of Y is equal to MX plus C, the equation of straight line with a Y intercept. Try it yourself. Now, for this graph, RD equals 20 ohms. Here is an equivalent circuit of the piecewise linear model and using the second equation, we find this equivalent model to be true. Check for yourself. The ideal diode is included to make sure the current flows in one direction only. Remember forward biasing? Yes, this is what makes the current flow in just one direction. This is useful when the circuit has an alternating current supply. Let us look at an example to better understand this model. Determine the current ID and the diode voltage VD for the circuit on your screen with VDD equals to 5 volts and R equals to 1 kilo ohm. VD0 equals to 0.65 volts and RD equals to 20 ohms. So let's solve this. First, let us replace the diode with our equivalent circuit model. Now the current ID can be given by VDD minus VD0 divided by R plus RD. This comes out to be 4.26 milliamperes. VD, the diode voltage, is simply 0.735 volts. And these are our answers. Easy, isn't it?